Hello and welcome to my channel. The storm has been blowing for a while now. And I think you guessed it right. Because I am with the Tata Safari Storm. Strong, rugged and huge, this car has been Tata's trump card over the years. Today I am with the EX model of the 2012-15 Safari Storm. So let's have a look. You will come to know about this Harry's great dimensions when you see this beast from this side. This car beats all its rivals in width, ground clearance and length. And this car finishes on the second spot in the height column. After outclassing its 2013 rivals, it still has loads of space inside. But before showing that space, I would like to show you the variants and colors in which this beast is available. The 2012 to 15 Safari Storm was available in four variants and seven colors. The colors were Urban Bronze, Sardinia Red, Pearl White, Pearl Champagne, Aston Black, Arctic White, and Arctic Silver. The four variants were the LX variant, the EX variant, the VX variant and the VX4 wheel drive variant. The Safari has also been launched under three different names by Tata Motors. Check this out. Now let's hop into the car. So we will first see the boot. Uh, opening the boot is quite peculiar. Ah, it's open. Just see the boot. You can fit in loads and loads of luggage with even, even one or two people sitting comfortably. One can adjust to make a room for a person to sit here and also load some luggage as well. So now let's get inside the boot. So there is a plank on which I am standing right now and there is a plank which is provided by the Tata Motors also and there is a nice handle which is also provided by the Tata Motors. So I am 5 foot 10 inch and I have come inside the boot quite easily. Now the beauty of these back row seats is that uh, there is no problem for the knee room and the head room is quite okay even if two people sit here which isn't the case uh, when in other SUVs which have front seating back row seats. I think two people can easily sit here for a 5-6 hour trip which isn't the case with other SUVs. I think the only problem prevalent here in their back seats is that there is no under thigh support. But there is good knee room so it's okay to sit here. No problem. The Tata Motors planned it beautifully and absolutely nailed it. The Tata Safari does a very good job in this SUV segment 
with these back row seats and you can always fold the middle row seat if you want more space now talking about the specifications this is the fuel tank control the turning radius of this car is 5.4 meter the wheels of this car are humongous and these are 16 inch wheels which offer a wheelbase of 2650 mm now talking about the features there are folding rear seats this car offers foldable rear seats fog lamps four speakers audio a music system was provided by the company but this is a touch screen which have, has been installed after buying the car. Compatibility Offers USB compatibility with 4 USB sockets Tachometer and trip, com trip computer Tachometer in this car or the in instrument cl cluster shows various things the door open alarm the seat belt alarm the total distance you can set the uh, trip distance to zero and calculate the distance you traveled in a trip you can also see the temperature this also shows speed how much fuel the car has left and the rpm and rear AC vents this is this clock which shows time these are the AC vents and this is the indicator alarm these are the driver seat controls these are the controls for the power window and this is the control for the fuel tank now opening the power window and child lock this car offers a very good safety feature known as the child lock you can keep it unlock or lock it this is the space for keeping bottles you can easily fit uh, bottles here there is no glass holder provided in this car but in every row these bottle holds spaces are provided these are halogen headlights available in the Tata Safari Storm these headlights look classy the steering for this car looks good and these uh, steering controls are added after buying the car and are not available from the company this is the mood lighting available in Safari Storm when you open the door this is the Safari badge on the driver's seat and these are the monstrous clutch, brake and accelerator. The front rows in the safari, due to its height, gave a blank to get inside this. In the safari, in the, uh, this row, the front row, there is lot of room, lot and lots and lots of room. This glove box is good for storing some things. And there is a good AC vent which you can direct towards yourself. And you can recline and sit easily here. And you can once again recline the backrest to your position. Now there is an armrest around here which is different from other new cars nowadays in which the armrest also offers some space to uh, keep things. All over the safari's front seats are quite comfortable to sit in and even you can move it in front backwards to make space for the rear passenger so and the stature of this car these front row seats seem good so getting into the middle row seats is as easy 
as getting in the front row seats. There is a plan. You can take its support. So the knee room is quite good here, and I think you can adjust with the front passenger to make more knee room here. But it's still quite good, and I think I can. It's better than many of uh, new cars. There is some space for uh, keeping your bottles or things like toys, uh, which small children have. Both the seats, and there are power windows here also. So it's quite good. This car is on the future side. Uh, if we see the time uh, around 2012. the features i think which should have been available in this car were uh, the parking sensors as this is a very big car parking sensors would have helped a lot in parking this car because parking this car is a bit uh, difficult and uh, the rear view camera would have made it more merrier that would have been an icing on the cake but overall this car is very good and i think that we like driving this car this car is on the spacious side so you can easily go on big long drives in this car and it's really fun to be in this car because you can get loads and loads of luggage with you the boot space is huge and here it's not like you feel very compact here it's Uh, very open because the windows are very large in this car so you don't feel compact or uh, the non airy feeling you don't get that in this car so i what i would say about this car in the conclusion is that this is a very good car and uh, the, uh, one of those problems which i think is the five uh, Five speed manual gearbox. Uh, this car is not available in the automatic uh, with the automatic gearbox. Tata Motors could have provided uh, this car with the uh, with the automatic with an automatic gearbox. But else, it is very good to drive, and I think you will feel the push when you drive this car on the highways. This car is can be used for rough and tough off roading. and you can just see the size of this car this car beats all its rivals so i like this car and uh, though tata motors has discontinued the production of this car in 2019 i would strongly recommend that you buy this car second handed if you get a chance thanks for watching please subscribe